Hey guys, how's it going? I'm super excited today because I got another challenge with the Infinibot N1. You're watching Robot Masters. My name is Nathan, your friendly host, and I hope you guys are having a swell day or awesome day. So let's go ahead and talk about the Infinibot N1. We're actually going to do a mopping challenge and we're going to do an obstacle challenge as well. So we'll test how well the robot can mop and detect objects. Before we do, let me just explain what the Infinibot N1 is. It's a new robot that came from Alibaba.com. I ordered this about two months ago. It did take a while to get to my house. And one thing to note is this robot has both LiDAR and a forward-facing camera. So it's really good at detecting objects. Also, this is one of the first robots that can self-clean its mopping pad. It uses fresh water in this area and puts the dirty water in this container. So this is a very unique robot. And the fact that it has a lot of unique features that's coming to this market which we should be expecting in the future. So self-cleaning abilities, having the ability to recognize various objects, which is front-facing camera. So I'm super excited to test this robot. So let's go ahead and have some mopping fun. Okay, so here's one feature that most robot bathrooms can't do. I physically moved the robot from the master bathroom, highlighting green, to highlighting red my kitchen. Uh, this is a feature that is really advanced on most robot vacuums. A lot of robot vacuums do struggle with this and take a lot of time, but with LiDAR robots, they usually can do this fairly quickly and they can update their map. So LiDAR robot vacuums have no problem with repositioning. Um, some camera-based robots, kind of like the Roombas, can do that as well, but they do take a little bit longer to find their position. So that's just one thing to consider. The primary sensors on this robot is its spinning LiDAR sensor. also has two stereo forward-facing cameras to detect various objects. It can detect humans. It can also detect objects on the floor. You can see that it has no problem detecting these objects and avoiding them in real time. I would say that this is a pretty advanced feature. There's only one other robot that I can think of that can do this. That's the Roborock. Uh, the robot can avoid objects in real time. But most of these robots would need to physically bump into the object to go around the object. But some of these LiDAR based robots like the Vinibot can do in real time. The mapping process was quite easy and fast. Only took a few minutes to map out my entire area. So what I do is a shortcut called pin and go. It's a function on this robot where I can drop a pin down within the map and the robot will go to that area. And as it's going to that area, it's going to create and update the map. It's a real fast and handy way of getting a map done within a few minutes. Okay, what do you guys think of the navigation? Looks like it did fairly well. It didn't bump into any objects. And we have reached the master bathroom, which did the most efficient way of getting to the master bathroom. Okay, for this mopping challenge, I'm just going to have it do a single run. We'll see how well the robot can navigate various objects with its mopping pad. You may notice that the retractable mopping pad does stick out, so it does have to lift up the mopping pad to avoid striking the mopping attachment. So you may notice it lift up and down quite frequently. Okay, so what's my opinion on it? Well, I've only had it for a couple hours I actually used it. From my experience, I do like the robot vacuum as its navigation abilities. Uh, one thing to know is the robot does sit up pretty tall, so you won't be able to get under couches and low hanging furniture. I did notice that the app is kind of slow to respond. Maybe it's just on the server side, but sometimes if you click on like a cleaning cycle or a cleaning mode, it does take a few seconds for it to register that cleaning mode. I have spoken to a couple of you guys that actually own the Vinibot and you guys mentioned that there's some problems with the area select or being able to create rooms. Uh, I haven't quite got around to checking out that feature but I will. I believe they say it was a problem with the Android side but I'll test it on both Android and iPhone to see how well the app integration works. So if you're a person that wants the latest and greatest and likes to try out new robot vacuums then yeah I would recommend getting the Vinibot. But if you want something that's just a good reliable cleaner, there are a lot of great alternatives out there like the Roombas, the Roblox. And those are tried and true systems, they've been thoroughly tested and a lot of people like it. But with the Vinibot it's a new product so there's not much reviews on it. And there are some bugs because this is a new product so it's expected. And also, since it's available overseas, not here in the U.S., unfortunately, if you do have a problem with it, it will take some time to get it resolved. So I did order some fake poo on Amazon, and I tried out the feature. Unfortunately, the robot did not recognize the poo to avoid it. It just kind of ran over it. So I'm going to go ahead and contact the maker and see if they can update the firmware. Maybe it's just a firmware issue, or the camera's not recognizing the different shapes. But I'll keep you guys updated once the feature works. So watch closely, notice that vent towards the end of the video off to the right. Uh, you may notice that the side brush hits it and actually falls off. So that's another downside to this robot is the side brush is 
easily comes apart or comes off. Uh, one thing I could do is glue it or I could just add some sticky tape to the end of it to keep it on. This leads into my next topic, the build quality. I would say that it's a below average. Uh, the robot does feel cheap. Um, as you can see that the side brush actually just falls off because it gets hung up on my vent. Um, the robot does have a keep out zone, so you could technically keep out the area. But that's just one thing to note is the build quality is not up there with other robot vacuums like the Neato, the Samsung, or the Roombas. So another question you guys had is, do I have a close relationship with the supplier? Well, all I did was just email them back and forth about the robot vacuum because I had a lot of questions about them, kind of like a interested consumer. And I also asked if the robot was in English and they said no, but at the time of uh, shipping, they did convert the robot to English, which was nice of them. Now, I only worked with one supplier through Alibaba and I did have to pay for the robot myself. I did not get this robot for free to review. The robot itself was like $313 plus about $117 of shipping. So I will disclose on this channel if I do get a product for free in exchange for a review. I try to keep my, all my testing as they are. I let you guys decide if this robot's for you and its ability to clean. Here's some of the technical data I'm going to put up on screen right now. Uh, this is going to be comparing the Roblox S6 with the Vinibot. You may notice that the Roblox S6 has longer battery life at 2.5 hours and the Roblox is a little bit quieter. But you notice that the Vinibot offers a lot more features like the poo recognition which doesn't work right now but hopefully it works in the future and the self cleaning mopping pad. Feel free to pause that section of the video. Okay so it looks like it finished up its permit sweep and then it will finish off with its back and forth cleaning pattern. What do you guys think? Did you like the Vinny Boss cleaning pattern where it starts out with the perimeter first and then it fills in that perimeter with the back and forth cleaning pattern? This is very similar to the Roborock. Now, other robots do different cleaning patterns like the Roombas where they do a back and forth cleaning pattern first and then they fill in that room with the perimeter sweep. I would say that the Vinibot is a true hybrid robot vacuum and slash mop, so it has the ability to do mopping only, or you can do vacuum only, or you could do a combination of both. And within those settings, you can determine how much water you want on your floors. Also, you can determine how strong of a suction. There's four suction modes, so that makes this robot very versatile. There's so many options, so it can get overwhelming, but I'll definitely go through all the options eventually with additional videos. So if you found this video helpful, if you like this style of video, please smash the like button. Helps me gauge if this video is popping up. Also, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name's Nathan. I do a lot of crazy robot vacuum reviews, unboxings, overviews, and I'll be getting new robot vacuums on this channel every month or so. And I like to compare them as well, so I will do a comparison of the Vinibot with some other mopping robots like the Roblox S6. And eventually, I'll be getting the Narwhal, which is another competitor that has a self-cleaning mopping attachment. Okay, one thing I forgot to mention is if you do mopping, it will actually clean its mopping pad prior to going out to do the mopping job. Also, you have the ability to see how long the robot can mop for, like the areas. So you can do either 5 meters squared up to 40 meters squared. Uh, this also is the ability to control the water flow. So if you want the robot to clean its mopping pad more often and apply a lot more water, then do like the 5 meters squared. But if you want it to be less water, then up it to about 40 meters squared. Okay, so overall, I think it did a fairly good job. The navigation was good. The mopping did fairly good as well. The downside is it lost its mopping or the side brush. So I will have to look into how to keep it on. Okay, the last thing I'm going to show you is how the base cleans its mopping pad. You'll hear the noises and the water and the robot will indicate it's done. All right, have a great rest of your day.